Okay, so it's just going up to about 7 o'clock in the evening. So I started at 11. I've had dinner, I've had lunch, I've had a couple of walks back to the house to get tools. So it's still probably taking me about 6 hours until this point. But, you know, having these acorns a bit quicker. That's if I get around to doing it. Uh, press a new seal in. The old one again had a bunch of that, uh, what looked to be like a uh, heat gasket, uh, liquid gasket. Um, when I actually pulled it out and had to use a bearing puller to pull that out, um, that actual gasket hadn't really penetrated at all and was just sitting on this outside edge. So I didn't bother putting any in when I did it because uh, it's a pretty snug fit. And thankfully, one of the little rings from out of my kit, my press kit, fit perfectly. I had to fold the, this little lip, uh, if you can see it, I had to fold this little lip back and this thing fits snugly over the top and is a perfect size for that uh, seal. And you just tap it in with a soft hammer. Happy days. So we're going to get cracking on the reinsert in the ball joint. So from memory, bottom first. Again, I'm going to heat this bad boy up. And then I've got my joints sitting over there in Little Esky. It's been in the freezer for probably about an hour. And then just sitting on ice at the moment. We'll see how we go. Alrighty, so I got this thing part way on using the, uh, the dodgy thing from, that I ordered from eBay but then some of these don't quite fit like they're uh, there's a top part that don't quite fit in the ring end here of this c-clamp because they're just a little bit too big and i can't be bothered freaking around with them so i this thing fits pretty perfectly over the top and i just jig this up jack the car up a little bit higher and so far it seems to be going along pretty well not too far to go cool. So number one is in. This is taking ages. Uh, can't remember the exact time. This might take me about 45 minutes to an hour just working out which one of these things I need. I ended up uh, when I was using that uh, bearing puller. It did a little bit of damage to the bottom of that, so we uh, noticed there was a bit of a deviation in the uh, where the thread was moving. It was moving towards me. So I unscrewed it, and by that point, the challenge I had was that before this is up above the surface, there's a bit of a slope at the back here. You can kind of see that there. So everything you put on there slides forward and off the edge a little bit. So when you're trying to press this this part up through the hole, the edge catches sort of sort of like that, but obviously in the back um, because it keeps sliding down this slope here. Um, but once that lip was up, using that bearing, pre uh, bearing puller, once it had pressed up a little bit, then that sits pretty comfortably over it, so I went back to using my C-clamp. It was pretty damn tight, uh, probably flexed or slash bent that C-clamp a little bit. Doesn't quite look like it lines up yet, hopefully it does the other one. Uh, to be honest, I'm tossing up with I just uh, do this, put it back together and get someone else in a workshop to do the other one, because it's been a bit of a chore. Uh, but maybe my spirits will change shortly. We'll see how we go. Alrighty, so top one. Um, had a bit of drama. Every time I would get this up here and onto there, it would hit here and it would flex. And it would hit up the top there. So I took off the sway bar link. I've jacked up the other side of the diff. Uh, and I've dropped this side down to try and sort of flex this angle because this thing's at a bit of an angle towards Sort of that way towards the suspension um anyway i just got it started and it started to so i got this it's a slight way in and it started to to lean all over the shop so once i got it started i just kind of got a bit cranky with it and i popped this over the top and i used my convincer and i've just been tapping it two or three taps at a time checking each side to make sure it's going down it's going down squarely the beating that this gets from the suspension, the rocks and all that sort of jazz, I don't imagine it's going to be too much damage. I'm not hitting it as hard as I can, I'm just tapping it down and it seems to be going. So that's the first couple of blows. I used the, uh, the dead, ball, dead, uh, dead, dead blow hammer. Yeah. Uh, so it's getting a bit late now, so I'm getting a bit tired. Um, yeah, and it seems to be going in, so I'm just going to do it this way and see how we end up. Alright, so the top one's in. Uh, I used a combination of the C-clamp and 
the bearing puller, just hooking it up underneath here. I did go a little bit rogue and try to, because of the slope underneath this backside here, so I tried to wedge one of these up under here just with an Allen key. Try and balance it out. Uh, on there, you can see there's a fair bit of damage from where the Allen key was sitting. Uh, in the process of some part, I've torn the boot ever so slightly, but it's in. Uh, it was a rock on the back side to get in. Again, a probably won't do the other side. Uh, probably gonna see if it's a shot. Uh, yeah, it's probably like 8.30, 9 o'clock now, so it's been a bit of a long day, but uh, we'll get everything back in one place. One thing to mention was um, the oil speed sensor thing on here, the O-ring on that is completely cactus when I pulled it out, so um, I would assume that if somebody else is doing one of these, you should probably get a new O-ring. I don't know what size it is, we happen to have a whole box of O-rings, so I'll just grab one out randomly and fit it into the top of the actual um, the top of the hub there and it seems to fit pretty snug so I'm just going to go with that. So basically the reverse I'm just going to refit uh, this back on, we're going to bolter it on, torque it up, I'll have to look up where the torque is uh, and then we're going to slide the shaft back in um, and bolt everything back together. This will probably be the last part of it uh, just to see the reverse of what the start of the video was.